Well, hello. Um, I am going to take one of my kind of postcardy things that I made. I had made this sheet a while ago. I think there's a video on it. And if I find the video, I will connect it to this. I'll put it at the end um, of how I did this background. And then I cut the pieces up, cut them in pieces to make them like little cards for to give for happy mail you know and it's nice to have something small if you want to just send somebody a nice little gift and you don't you know it doesn't have to be a big thing uh, just a handmade little card is nice and this is like a postcard size I think um, let's see what size this is I don't know if I cut them to a particular size I may have this is six Six by four and a half, so yeah, like a postcard size. And what I did was I sketched out um, a butterfly, and then I just uh, scanned it and then printed it out on this little watercolor paper. This actually was from watercolor card paper. Uh, and then I thought, well, I think I'm going to make some pretty jeweled butterflies. I don't know if I'm going to put two. I don't know if these two would both, both fit on here, so I may just put the one and then do a lot of um, you know cool stuff around it or whatever so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color them in and uh, probably um, I'm trying to think if I want to use color pencils markers watercolors um, I think maybe I'll use watercolor crayons and some some markers maybe that's what I'll do that's pretty easy. I mean, I don't want to make this, you know, I want, I want to get to the point where this is colored and then I put it on the card and then I can do more cool stuff, you know. So that's what I'm going to do and I will probably speed it up, but I'll talk uh, either or put some music on while I do this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my watercolors and some markers and go at it with these butterflies. You know, it's funny, when I went back to check out the video, to look for the video where I made the background, I was actually making it for the fall. And now we're in the summer, and I'm thinking about summer, so I can actually use it for anything. So now I'm going to make it more summery, and um, it's just funny, because when I went back and listened to that, I'm like, oh, look, it's for the fall. It was for the Gypsy and the Witch. So um, it's really cool how you can change things, right?
You can see how when working with the color pencils and adding markers and everything really is making this flower pop out. It was just a very, very light fade kind of looking uh, stencil in the background. I think I had used inks with that. Um, and now it's becoming one of the focal points of the, the page. And it's just fun that, you know, I did this with the fall theme in mind, and now I can take it and turn it into a summer theme, you know. Um, so just think about that. You know, when you find things that you've done and, you know, you forget about them sometimes. You, you plan on finish thing, finishing them at that time, and then you put something away, and then, you know, you find it, and you're like, hey, cool. And it just happens to be... You know, you're in a different mood, you know. So now I'm in a summery mood and I want something fresh and summery and bright, which I always want bright. But, you know, so that's what I'm thinking for now for this for this little postcard. Adding markers, adding uh, fine liners, I took everything out. So I just figured, you know, I'm just going to play with it and just make it pop, you know, and make it more interesting. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, what I've done is I've taken my um, fine liner and kind of both of them, the white and the black, and just kind of made random dots and stuff all over the, the butterflies and the, you can see that, you know, so it's filling in nicely. It's getting more and more interesting. And so are the butterflies. You can see them. I'm not going to pick them up because they are wet, the little dots. So, you know, you can do a lot with markers to add color and interest to what you have, you know. 
<clears throat> so using these Liquitex paint markers, which I really love because I, I, you know, I love that the colors. They're so bright. And then adding uh, the Uniposca markers and the pencil and color pencils and the fine liners. You know, it really changed the whole look of it. So it's got more more chunk to it, you know? It's like, I'm really loving it. So I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm thinking what else I want to do. Um, I have some other ideas, so we'll see if I go through with it or not. <laughs> I don't know. So I will be back. Okay, so this is where I am. I used some metallics from uh, Deco Art, and I put, I'll use uh, the Deco Art Metallic Luster, which they're fabulous. They're all over my hands. Um, I want to see how they work. I don't know if any of you have tried them. Now, I've used the Inca Gold, and they dry up. And you can't wet them in here. You have to take the pieces out and wet them because otherwise they get moldy and I've had a few of them get moldy like really bad and I didn't even wet them so um, I don't know what's going on with that so I thought well I would try the deco art brand which I've heard really good things on so uh, I put that all through here on the uh, butterflies on the actual background cord so now I'm just going to um, glue them down I think you know one one way maybe and one another way I don't know and I'm going to use um, Aileen's tacky glue I am not going to do this with any kind of very liquidy uh, Mod Podge or decoupage or whatever the heck else uh, gel medium I am going to use glue and I'll probably use the clear um, Aileen's and just get it down and I'm just trying to see how I want to, and I'll do more to it, but I just want to make sure I get them down first. And I kind of have to put them, and you could put like double-sided tape on them and just keep them kind of flipping around. The fan is on, that's why they, they look like they're actually moving. <laughs> um, but I, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. And then what I'll do is I'll spray it. And then maybe go over it with a coat of varnish, you know. Uh, but I'll spray it first because a lot of these things I used will get reactivated with anything wet. So I want to make sure I seal it first with the spray. And then I usually, you know, if I want to make it more uh, a heavier coat, then I'll go over it at that point. But I really love this. It's so nice and summery, isn't it? It's like so bright and cheery and happy. So, okay, Rita, stop talking and let's get this down. Well, I will be right back. Well, it kind of looks really, I mean, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of something um, from the 60s, you know, those colors and the early 70s kind of, I don't know, hippie kind of days our hippie days and I just I really love it it's so nice and bright and cheery I think I'm gonna make some more of these uh, with the butterflies because I really like that and then you know make them each one a little bit different but use the butterflies and then send them out for happy mail you know and it's great like if you just want to send somebody something maybe they didn't send you something I mean you just want to send them a like a little love note just saying you know I appreciate you and I'm so glad that you're my friend and blah 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 whatever here's just a little something and then you sign it and um, send it to them and they have an actual piece of original artwork which is uh, so nice. I just put some gold, I had painted these, the back of these, uh, but I just smeared some gold to give it a little bit of pizzazz and um, so I'm really loving it. You know I'd really like to make a, um, a shade hanger out of that. I don't know if any of you have taken my class, um, lots of people have and it's free 
Uh, it's I'll put the link below. I always put the link to my workshops below, and it's a free class, and it is so much fun, and it's called Shade Hangers, and I think that this uh, would make a great one. I'd probably make it a little bit smaller, and I show you that I use um, not cardboard, but uh, what is that called? Chipboard or something like that. When I when I make them in the video, and but I really I love this. I mean I I mean I mean I mean. You think I could get my words out properly? But yeah, go sign up for the class. It's free, and then also. I found the video where I made the background. It actually was uh, for the Gypsy and the Witch last year. So I'll put that at the end of this video. There'll be a little thing. And then I'll also put it below in the description. And below in the description will be the link to my workshop. So if you want to go take, it's a free class. And it just, it really made me think about that. Because I think I would like this on hanging on one of my... Uh, lamps you know the shades I love doing that I have them all over my house and I, I love them um, so that is it for now and I'm going to spray this and I'm going to probably seal it but I'm not going to do it during this video because it, it takes too long it's very humid out here and it takes forever for things to dry I can't even spray it right today because it's like 91% humidity. It's like a waste. You put something out there, it, it's not drying. Uh, so I have to put it in a, in a cool place to dry, and then the fumes bother me, so I can't put it in here. So I really have to wait for dry days, which is really hard because we really don't have any. But sometimes it'll go into the humidity, will go down in the 70s, and it's in the morning, and I can get out there and spray. So... That's my plans for that. And I'll be making more and sending them out. And uh, then I'm going to do a shade hanger with it. So it's great. You know, you make you make your little butterfly or whatever you want to make. Make sure you scan it onto your computer and then you've got them, you know. And then uh, really, if I had like a, I would have done this a little bit better. But, you know, I kind of just did this really quick. <laughs> But if I had one of those, what's that brother thing that made the stent, makes the stencils, I definitely would make a stencil and or and a stamp out of that. That would be really cool. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I inspired your summerness to come out and your hippiness maybe and your sunshine come out of you and... Um, Brighten up your soul a little bit, right? Your little creative soul. Let's keep them bright and light and happy. So, and I will put the link below to the Deco Art Metallic Lusters if you're interested in those. Uh, it's an Amazon link, and I think they're on sale right now. Or you can go to decoart.com and check them out there too. So they are so smooth and luscious and fun. So I hope you'll try them. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.